On today's show, I'm going to teach you how to create a classic steakhouse meal right in your own home. An icy cold martini is simply divine. It's traditionally made with gin and vermouth, but it can also be made very successfully with vodka, which is my choice. Put a few scoops of ice in your shaker, one cup of vodka or gin, and one tablespoon of vermouth. And remember, James Bond's martinis were always shaken, not stirred. And pour into clean, cold glasses. Baked stuffed clams, so delicious. While there are variations on the filling ingredients of this steakhouse favorite, one thing remains the same, the clams. In a big pan, add two tablespoons of olive oil and one small red onion, four or five cloves of garlic. We're gonna add our clams. So we'll put these in. And one cup of dry white wine. It can be the leftover wine from last night, but it should be a good wine. Cover. So now the stuffing itself. Four tablespoons of butter, a cup of fresh breadcrumbs, and a half a cup of almond flour. This is a surprising ingredient, but it tastes really good. Tablespoon of dill, a half a teaspoon of dried rosemary, and one teaspoon of thyme leaves. And half a cup of finely chopped parsley leaves. So now the onion mixture is ready to put into the stuffing. So each shell will get at least a whole clam back into it, but now chopped. You are going to love this recipe. So use a spoon and best way I think is right over the bowls in case it falls. So scrape it like that. Idea is to cover the clams with the beautiful filling. Once you taste these, you're going to say they're the best baked stuffed clams you've ever tasted. So now for the best part of the meal, the steak itself. In the early 19th century, porterhouses provided a place for coaches to stop so travelers could dine. At one such establishment in New York City, a special cut of steak was served that later became known as a porterhouse, offering the best of both worlds. This cut has the flavorful strip steak on one side and the tenderloin on the other. I love this steak and it's very well marbled. Rub the outside with salt and pepper. If you hear a great sizzle, you know that you're caramelizing the outside of the steak. Yes, perfect. Ah, now that is a really good sear. Make sure your oven, by the way, is preheated to 425 degrees. This steak is going to go right into the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. So one two pound porterhouse will yield quite a bit of meat. All you need is a really good glass of your favorite Cabernet and you have an unforgettable meal. Enjoy. One side dish always on our table, especially around the holidays, was my mother's creamed spinach. So just put this right into your deep pot. You can cover it. So put a little bit in here. This is called a ricer, and it works very well. Just be real careful if the spinach is really hot, not to press too hard, but you have to pour out the top as well as the bottom. So we now have our semi-dry cooked spinach, and we will make our bechamel. The butter has melted. That's three tablespoons of butter, a quarter of a cup of flour, and stir that around. And now add one cup of milk. I'm making it right in this shallow pan, which is a nice way to cook it because you're going to add the spinach right to the pan. Add one teaspoon of sugar and a little bit of nutmeg. So this can go right into your pan. It's such a great color. Mm. That is good creamed spinach. I hope you enjoyed this.